Blot, it's time for We Worship. Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you guys for coming back and joining us for We Worship, where we tell the greatest stories ever told. And today, we've got some great stories. I can't wait to share them with you. Speaking of great, Mrs. Carol, that's a great color on you. Well, thank you, Mr. Page. Is that your Easter outfit? Yes, it is. And I see you're wearing some color today, too. I am. This is my Easter outfit. Thank you for noticing, Mrs. Carol. You know, we've been talking about how much God cares for all of us. And there's a lot of stories in the Bible that tell us about that. But also, God made tons of things to show us how much he cares about us. And I want you to listen while we talk about some of those things. Well, did you know, Mr. Page, that God cares about us so much that he sent Jesus here to be with us? Let's watch this movie. This is going to be great. Are you ready? Here we go. God made the animals and God made people. God even gave people the land, sky, water, plants, and animals to enjoy. But God gave even more than that to people. God loved people so much that he would give the best gift of all. God loved people so much that he sent Jesus to let people know how much he loves us. Wow, that was a great movie. It helps remind us just how much God cares for all of us. Well, Mr. Page, why don't we sing praises to God right now so we can show God how much we care for Him? I like that. Are you ready? Okay, so let's start off singing together, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know. and girls. Okay, let's see. How about we sing, hmm, praise him, praise him. Do you remember that one? I think we sang that last week and you got to do your hands together. Okay, here we go. Praise him, praise him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Praise him, praise him, children. God is love. God is love. Now let's love him. Love him, love him, all you little children. God is love. God is love. Love him, love him, all you little children. God is love. God is love. Now let's thank him. Thank him, thank him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Thank him, thank him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Now serve him. Serve him, serve him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Serve him, serve him. Children, God is love, God is love. That was so good. And like we always say, the Bible teaches us that it makes God happy when we sing praises to Him. Okay, let's do another one. How about we sing? about how great and mighty our God is, because he's greater and mightier than anything in the world. Okay, are you ready? Get your arms and your muscles ready. Here we go. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. 
My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Oh, I love that one. That's so great. Okay. Last week we didn't do this, but how about this week we do our Bible verse song. I'm going to start off thinking of a five-word Bible verse. I'm thinking of a five-word Bible verse about where Jesus was born. Do you know what that is? Some of you probably know. Let's see. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. That's it. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. I open my Bible book and read, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. That's what God's book tells us. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Oh, that's so great. Okay, here's one. It's a four-word Bible verse about doing what your mom or your dad asks you to do. The Bible teaches us that. Let's see. Children, obey your parents. That's it. Okay, here we go. I open my Bible book and read. Children, obey your parents. Children, obey your parents. Children, obey your parents. That's what God's book tells us. Children, obey your parents. Okay, one more. And this one's very important. This is about being nice to other people. What's that? It's a three-word Bible verse. Do you remember it? Be ye kind. Okay, here we go. I open my Bible book and read, Be ye kind. Be ye kind. Be ye kind. That's what God's book tells us. Be ye kind. Oh, that was great, boys and girls. We know that made God happy for you to sing praises to him. Now, I think Mr. Page is going to join us and tell us more about our special story today. Mr. Page. Thanks, Miss Carol. Wow, I love to hear you sing. And you know who else loves to hear you sing? God loves to hear you sing. He also loves it when we learn about all of the stories in the Bible. And we've been learning about some great ones. Remember these stories about how God takes care of us and other people? The story about Noah and his family, God helped them build this huge ark. And then after they got the ark built, God brought all of the animals together because he wanted to take care of them also. The animals loaded up and shortly after they were all on the ark safe, rain came. I mean a ton of rain, but it was not a problem because God had cared for them and kept them all safe inside the ark. That's an amazing story about how God cared for Noah and how he'll care for you. And then there was a story about this bad guy. He was a mean king and he was after all the baby boys. But there was one baby boy that God was really going to take care of and his name was Moses. He helped Moses' mother hide Moses in a basket in the water. Wow, that sounds almost scary, but it wasn't because God was taking care of baby Moses. And he helped a princess find the little baby. So not only did he keep the baby safe, he made it so that a princess would find baby Moses, and the princess took baby Moses into the palace. God was taking care of little baby Moses just like he'll take care of you. And today's story is another great one that talks about how God cares for us. God sent Jesus here to show us how much he cares. And Jesus knows that God cares about us, so Jesus cares about all of us also. Watch this story about a little boy, a small basket of food, and how much Jesus and God cared about all the people that were there. You're going to like this. One day, a large group of people gathered on a mountain to hear Jesus teach about God. Jesus' disciples said, There's a huge crowd of people here today, but we don't have food to feed them. His helper Peter didn't want the crowd to grow restless and hungry. Peter fretted, This little boy has five small loaves of bread and two fish, but how will this be enough to feed all these people? 
but the little boy was happy to share his food. Jesus took the loaves and the fish and thanked God for that food. Then he passed the loaves and the fish to all the people who were seated. There was plenty of food for everyone. It was a miracle. Jesus loved the little boy who shared his food, and he loved the crowd of people who came to hear him teach about God. Wow, that was a great movie that taught us all about how much Jesus loves us and loved all of those people so much that he made sure that everybody had food to eat. That was really cool. Mr. Page, look what I brought. Oh, Mrs. Carol, this is my favorite part of We Worship, where you go into your huge toy closet and bring out something about the story. Look at this, I have a basket and two fish, and then loaves of bread, too. Just it's like in the story. Perfect. A little bitty basket, just like the little boy had. Right. Two fish. Right. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh, Mrs. Carroll. I think there's a problem with this toy also. No, Mr. Page. One of these is for you. Oh my goodness, thank you, Mrs. Carroll. I recognize this. This is your recipe, isn't <laughs> yes, it? Yes, it is. Wow. Yes. Well, I'm gonna save this for later. Okay, That's okay. That's awesome. You know what, boys and girls? I think, just like there was extra bread in Mrs. Carroll's basket, I think there's an extra part to this story that we didn't get to hear. Miss Carol, Yay! I know. There's more. There okay. Is. Let's listen to this. Are you ready? I am. Here Let's go. Here we go. One day, Jesus was teaching a very large crowd of over 5,000 people. He saw that some of the people were not feeling well, and he wanted to take care of them. Jesus healed some of the people, and they were glad. But his helpers said to Jesus, Send these people home. There's no food for all of them. But there was a little boy there who had five loaves of bread and two fish. He said, Jesus, I'll share my food. Jesus took the bread and the fish. He prayed to God, and Jesus thanked God for giving them food to eat and for taking care of them. Jesus told his helpers to share the bread and the fish with all of the people, the men, the women, and the children. The people were amazed that there was plenty of food for everyone. When all of the people were done eating, there was even food left over. The people knew that God cared for them. Wow, that was another great story about the little boy, the fish, the bread, and how much God cared for all of those people that he helped Jesus feed 5,000 people. But not only that, after they fed all of those people, there was still food left over. Mr. Page, I love being reminded about how much God cares for us. And Easter is a special time for us to remember that God cared for us so much that he sent Jesus here to be with us and teach us about him. How about we all say a prayer and thank God for Jesus and for caring about us? Are you guys ready? Fold your hands and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you that you care for us. Thank you for Jesus and for teaching us more about how you love us. Amen. Thank you, Miss Carol. That was a great prayer. And boys and girls, you've got to come back next week because we've got more great stories. We Worship is where we tell the greatest stories ever told. But you don't have to wait a whole week to hear great stories. Remember, Miss Carol, there's the 1-8 Adventures. They're on every single day. A new adventure is on your computer or TV. They're amazing. Miss Carol, I can't wait to show you what's coming up. Oh, this is exciting. I can't wait to hear. Okay. You guys remember, last week we had an amazing adventure. But before all of that, 
Remember this adventure on Rover 18. This was a safari adventure where Blair and Cameron met a bunch of crazy people. They did a bunch of crazy things. They were chased by hippos. But in the end, they learned that what they really needed to do was help take care of people. And that was a great lesson to learn, just like we've been learning it. And then the next week, Blair and Cameron were on another amazing adventure, Shuttle 18, a spaceship that went to the ends of the Earth and beyond. That was a crazy, crazy journey. They didn't even know they were going to be on it until they had already taken off. They got to go outside and do a spacewalk. They met a general. They did all kinds of crazy stuff. And they even learned to help people before eventually the shuttle made it all the way back to the church. Oh man, you can't believe the ending on that one. It was crazy. And then there was Engine 18, a huge train going all the way to VBS. It was a really exciting journey. Engine 18 on the wild adventure across the country, helping people as they went. They got to meet a bunch of other crazy people. They got to eat from a candy car. Oh man, and even the bridge blew up. You're gonna love that if you haven't seen it. But this week, this week is the best adventure so far. They're going on Sub-18, a submarine. Watch this. wanted to do this. Dive! 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 Wow! Sub 1-8 looks amazing! I can't wait for you guys to see that one. That's super cool! Thank you guys for coming and joining us here on Easter Sunday at We Worship, where we tell the greatest stories ever told. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Have an awesome week. Bye.